We continue with our tutorial already part 24 and today's topic is cam switching. You can switch between two cams in multiple different situations. Today's topic is going to be more on a single output bit from MC cam in function block which is called end of profile and today we will change two cams on the fly and we will see that this is fairly simple also there are certain things you need to take care but before we begin we need to prepare our system a bit first of all let's go to our function blocks and change on our MC cam table select we already have a cam so we will delete that to create some MC cam ref structure st cam table and let's declare it as MC cam ref and now we need to put some real cam table inside this structure so let's call st cam equals our cam okay now we copy it during initialization of our program this cam into our structure now let's create another cam and we will keep it as simple as possible like in previous video we will just change one point which is exactly the last point so what we will have is this cam here and then we will change it with this cam under certain conditions so those are our two cams which we will exchange we will need to create a piece of code finally this is like part 24 and we were literally not programming anything and we will call this let's say automatic cam switch auto cam let's call it like this and we will call it before our function blocks so cam switching and auto cam now that we call it we need to put certain piece of code inside so let's do it we'll have a small state machine inside case and i will now create this piece of code and then i explain it later Okay, we created our piece of program and it's fairly simple. So every time we flip one switch, one switching variable, and there is end of profile on MC cam in, we will alternate our cam. End of profile is even in a periodic cam that we will now have visible for at least one cycle. We will show this in a trace. That's it. Now what we need to do is uh, go to our visualization and add one button to simulate this switch Okay, we have our button and now let's just adapt a little bit our trace okay and technically we are ready to go now let's try to log in our project let's run and let's go to our multi-axis control before that we will just start the trace that we can analyze afterwards again enable the drives We'll execute set position on our slave axis and now let's prepare move velocity master again traditionally it's going to run in velocity and now we enable cam table select and in fact execute and we execute mc cam in 
okay now our trace is running yes and let's move velocity so we can see that our drives are running and as you can see here end of profile on MC came in is exactly on every end we will zoom out afterwards when we simulate switching cam now if we change our cam let's go back to the trace here we have change of state and it will start to create another cam now let's bring this switch back let's make a trace and here it is so let's stop our trace and let's briefly analyze this situation here so if we go all the way here to the first switching we see that for at least one cycle we have end of profile on our mc cam in and then on next cycle we change the state this is because we are executing the logic in such a way we need one plc cycle to execute it now this is not a problem at the moment mainly because our cam profile at the switching point are so leveled up that there is no visible jump but also more important is that our cam is still in absolute so we do not lose any points while we are camming this is very important not to have a drift between the master and the slave if we go to the other situation where we change our cam profile we would see exactly the same thing here you can see on a slave axis is a little bit more curvy we do not have any jump in our position and also this is automatically reflected on a velocity now that's it this is fairly a simple solution how to switch cam however the accent of this video is more on end of profile and hopefully in your application you will use it properly switch between the cams either is it periodic non-periodic to start in ramp in relative absolute so that's it for today thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye